Hey there, this is Samich with part 12 of my Let's Play of Chrono Cross. Last time, we learned that in order to get rid of this thing, we need to lure its favorite food here. And to lure its favorite food here, we need to lure its favorite food, fav its favorite food's favorite food, to it. That made more sense in my head. Bring in the pollen to the red monster. The reason I'm bringing it to the red monster is because if I bring him any of the other two colored monsters, he will fight me. If I bring him the red one, he won't fight me and will instead give me an item. I like items. Very much so. So, I'm going to do that. And steal from this thing just because I can. Miss, of course. Attempt at thievery failed. Get in the face, that's how you do it. And go with maiden hand. Pow, 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 pow. Right to the face. Get some level ups. to the red monster. Now the red monster's following the red pollen, and I'm heading back to the thingy, the plant thingy. I think it's called a quaffalid. Or quaffalid, or something that starts with a Q. I don't care. Going on, going to find it. I seem to have lost the monster somehow back and get it. It's over there. Get back here. Follow the pollen. Follow the pollen. Good thing that looks like the jellies from Zelda Wind Waker. And there we go. Got it. Come on, little jelly thing. Come on. Come on. Stop being an idiot. There we go. Hit nom nom the jelly. Now I talk to it. And it shrinks to a little tiny little quafflid. And I got the skull duggery frame, which is cool looking, so I shall put that on. Skull duggery. And now we go in here and find those two again. And this guy. This is Zoa of the Arcadia Dragoons, aka Mr. Capslock. Arcadia, not Arcadia. Whatever. But yeah, he talks in all caps. He can get annoying after. And this fight teaches us about summons. Summons can only be used if the field effect is all of one color. So Salt is going to attempt to use the summon when the field effect is not all one color. 
and it uh, did it. You muddlehead. Pepper mad. Anyways, I'm going to take out Salt first. Because of the two, he's the most dangerous. And if you leave both of them alive, they can do a combo attack on you. So... Kill and Salt. Or getting him to low health, same difference. Now I focus on Zoa because he's the biggest threat of the two men. I'll also attempt to steal from Zoa to get his knee pad. Got it. Awesome. This fight can actually be rather difficult if you just fool around. Holy crap, bad miss. Random number generators are not happy. They're not good. Whoops. Crap. Oh well. I'm good. I healed my enemy. I meant to heal Lena, but oh well. I make the field a little blue. Power up some Alina's attacks. And Pepper uses Pepper Box. Pow! Right in my face. This is Dragon Rider. It can hurt a lot if you have the entire field effect yellow. But since I don't have the entire field effect yellow, it's not that bad. And... As I said, this is probably the first slightly difficult of the boss fights in the game. It's not really hard, but it's... Decently hard. Random number generators are not kind to sandwich. And Zoa goes down. Now, focus on Pepper. And he should go down without too much trouble as well. star level. We shall meet again. I'm going to grab this chest and then equip some stuff. Basher. You can get 
heal. And you shall get a bush basher too. Then give this knee pad to Surge. It increases his defense a little bit. Now go on into the tree trunk. See that little pink thing flying around? If you go under, it'll drop down and attack you. Those things are really annoying. Like, really annoying. Fight this thing. It's dead. I could push this boulder up and stop these stupid things from flying out of that hole. And walk slowly up the river. go up to the manor, so I'm going to save, and we shall finish this next time.